Hi, I'm Skyler. How does iTunes get hacked? Mm, well, it's a complex question to answer. Probably the better way to go about it is by suggesting ways to prevent that from happening. The first and best way to protect yourself is with a really strong password. When you go to create an Apple ID, it asks you to make a password that's at least eight characters long, that has at least one uppercase letter and at least one number. So what do most people do? Well, they pick something like the street where they live. So let's punch that into Wolfram Alpha to test the password strength of the street where I live and a number. Okay, so I'm gonna type in C-O-N-G, okay? And we'll just do um, seven, seven. Press return and see what that gives us for a password strength. Very weak. So a computer could figure that, that, that password really easily. Why? Well, using a brute force attack, like a dictionary attack, basically, it takes every word in the dictionary and throws it at the password. So if your password is a word that's in the dictionary, it means it'll come up and it'll be relatively easy to crack. Now, how do you protect yourself against that? Well, check this out. If I take one of these S's and I turn it to a dollar sign, and I take that zero, or the, the O in Congress, and I replace it with a zero. Now, what looks like Congress to me does not look like the word Congress to a computer. So if I check the strength of this password, we'll see that it changes from very weak to strong like that and it's not any harder to remember. So, that is a basic thing everybody can do in order to protect themselves. Make sure that there's no recognizable word in your password. Use symbols, use letters, use numbers, mix and match them. Do things that you can remember, but that don't look, that don't conform to other patterns that a computer could recognize. Those are two things, that's one thing you can do. Second thing you could do, that is uh, also really effective and that Apple just released or introduced recently is two-stage verification. So, go to this website. It's support.apple.com slash kb slash ht5570 and follow the directions. It'll take you maybe five, ten minutes. And after that, when someone, say you, goes to log on to your Apple ID, It'll actually send you a text message to your phone with a verification code that only you could possibly receive so that you can log on. That's only if you log on to the website where you would change information like billing information or your address or telephone number, information that you'd want to stay secure. I highly recommend that everybody who uses Apple products does that because you really don't want to have your credit card compromised. It's kind of a headache for everybody. So if you take those two steps, you'll be much, much safer. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.